another program has crashed. Why? Because the amount of electricity flowing into the computer suddenly changed. For companies that depend on large computers, such an event could be very expensive. So the power lines to the computers are usually protected by devices that control the flow of electric current through the sensitive circuits. In other words, they control the rate in electrical systems. Like the flow rate of a fluid, electrical rate is a measure of how much flows past a point in a given time. But instead of measuring the amount of fluid that flows through a hose, you measure the amount of electric charge that flows through a circuit in a period of time. The unit of electric charge is a coulomb. Electrical rate is one coulomb flowing past a point in one second. You'll recall that the number of electrons in a coulomb of charge is about the same as the number of grains of sand in a dump truck. Fortunately, the unit of electrical rate, the ampere, lets you count dump trucks instead of counting grains of sand. The ampere is exactly one coulomb per second. This makes it very convenient to measure electrical rate because the ampere is a rate. Unfortunately, the formula for electrical rate is not so convenient because the letters don't match the words. I is the rate in amperes, Q is the charge in coulombs, and T is the time. Most precision machines usually run on electricity, so controlling electrical rate is important. The current on these arc welders has to be maintained at 500 amps so they'll create enough heat to make the weld. For arc welders, heat is useful, but very often heat is the enemy of electrical devices. Any time electricity flows through a wire, it generates some heat. The more electric current, or the higher the electric rate, the more heat is produced. So all wires have to be rated according to the amount of current they can carry. Large wires can handle more current than smaller ones. That's why no device should carry more current than it's rated for. In fact, the sole purpose of a circuit panel is to limit the rate of electricity in a building. If the wires begin to heat up from too much current, the breaker trips. Even the breaker itself operates by heat. As the rate of electric current increases, a bimetallic strip inside the breaker heats up and bends. The higher the rate, the more heat and the more bending. Finally, it reaches a point where the flow of electricity is cut off altogether. Even when a device has been designed with wires properly sized to handle the current, some heat is still generated, and it can build up over time and still cause problems. A good example of electrical rate being carefully controlled is a diesel locomotive. Although we call them diesels, the motors that drive the wheels are actually electric. The diesel engine is just used to run a generator that makes the electricity for the motors that drive the wheels. Trains that are all electric get their power from overhead wires, a third rail, or in the case of this monorail, from a power track located here. In any case, when the engineer opens the throttle, he's controlling the rate at which electric charge is delivered to the motors. Controlling that electrical rate is particularly important during startup. If the charge is delivered too quickly, the motors could be overloaded, therefore overheated and damaged. That rate of flow of electric charge to the motors affects the mechanical rate of the entire train, its speed. You'll recall from the work unit that Lee Klaus is constantly concerned about the lifetime of his batteries in his electric car. This is directly related to the rate at which he draws the current out of them to run the motors. To make the batteries run a little longer, he uses a device that helps him control that rate. This is a battery operated electric car. This is an electronic controller. The reason I like this particular controller is because it, it works like an electronic switch. 
which turns the power from the batteries on and off very rapidly or very slowly, depending on how fast I want to go and how quickly I want to use up the, the amperage in the batteries. It is an electronic switch that does basically the same thing as a mechanical switch. It opens and closes rapidly or more slowly as I, uh, as I accelerate. If I'm moving along slowly, maybe the switch is opening or closing 50% of the time. So in effect, the batteries are off 50% of the time. So the reason I like this electronic controller is that it allows me to extend my range by, in effect, turning the batteries off part of the time. As Lee Klaus saves energy with style, he's actually controlling the time element of the rate formula. How much charge is limited by his batteries, but his switch breaks time into little pieces so he can coast the rest of the way. Power companies must also be constantly aware of rate because the demand is constantly changing. Every night around supper time, most people are using their electric stoves, fry pans, blenders, lights, and televisions. These are called the peak hours. The electric utilities must generate more electricity to meet that demand. If an electrical rate is not carefully controlled where it's generated and where it's used, someone could be left in the dark. 